Hello. Good afternoon. So I will be um, tackling about the Republic Act 9514. So it is part of our discussion. No? So it's part of our topic one, which is um, the Republic Act 9514. So under na siya sa atong prelim. Let's start. So, pasensya na, Jude, kayo, kayo nag background noise. Um, so, let's start with Republic Act 9514. It is an act establishing a comprehensive fire code of the Philippines, repealing Presidential Decree Number 1185 and for other purposes. Purposes, at na wrong spelling na siya. So, purposes. So, again, before... um. Republic Act 9514 was um, uh, Republic Act 9514 is only an amendment. The first law passed was the Presidential Decree 1185, which was signed by President, the former President Ferdinand Marcos. So let's start. So these are the objectives. So at the end of the lesson, you, the students, must have first learn and understand the essential provisions of Republic Act um, 9514. So there are many provisions or there are many sections inside the law. And I have chose only um, some of the essentials. Essentials means important. Important lang ang mga sections akong gipili dere sa ato ang lesson. But all those sections is also important, but ako lang siyang pili to minimize the, um, or to lessen nga, taas nga to ang video. Letter B, appreciate the passing of Presidential Decree 1185, amending it to 9514. So, why is PD 1185 was passed or was amended to RA 9514? Unsa may nakita po sa ato ang ang kongreso nga nung ilang gi-amend ang RA9514 again RA9514 when was it amended it was amended so it's on RA9514 2008 so naman gyud po na siya diha nakabutang so letter C acquire knowledge on the prohibited acts under RA9514 and be able to apply it in the future. So, naatay mga... So, you will be able... So, you are going... Oh, dipod. You would know what are the prohibited acts or omissions nga pwede nga naakay sanctions nga makuha kung i-violate ni mo this law. So, acquire knowledge in the prohibited acts under RA9514 and be able to apply it in the future. In the future, basinday, you will be part of the... Bureau of Fire Protection. So, at least na na mo yung knowledge gamay, no? Next. Section 1. So, this act shall be known as the Fire Code of the Philippines. So, muna sa ang title sa ato ang Republic Act 9514. So, again, nidi sa tag section 1, no? Section 2, mo to ang iyahang silbiscope. It is the policy of the state. So, na siya. Makita na siya ninyo, no? Mabasa, makita na siya. So, what would be the reasons why PD-1185 was created? So, nga no mang kuno, unsa mang kuno'y lapses, unsa may reason nga nakita during the Marcos administration nga nung gipasa ang PD-1185? Or why was it signed into law? So, first, na atay, uh, first reason was that death, death, death and injury to persons and loss and damage to property by fire hazard reached alarming proportion that the economic and social gains of the society are being continually undermined. So, tungod kay during the Marcos regime, maybe they are not yet aware of the possible losses. Kung na ay sunog, di ba? Kung na ay losses, muingon ang taga-fire taga taga Bureau of Fire or mga BFP nga, ang estimated 
cost na to sa nasunog ma, moabot siya og 1 million. So, di ba, kung establishment na siya, it will automatically um, um, cause the economic loss. Di ba? Or, the worst is, kanang gitawag na to og death and injury to person. So, nakita na sa panahon sa ato ang Marcos administration, mao nang isa na sa rason nga nung gipasa ang PD-1185. Letter B, in order to effect a meaningful reduction of the alarming fire losses, there is a need to develop a national consciousness and involvement of all persons in the prevention and suppression of fires. So, kaning balaura, gi, uh, or this um, reason, maugya po na ang ato ang gipatuman karon sa atong Bureau of Fire Protection. Bureau of Fire Protection is currently um, um, conducting an Oplan Ligtas Pamayanan. So, what is this Oplan Ligtas Pamayanan? They are aiming for a zero fire fire case casualty incident for a whole year. So, zero. So, muna yung ilahang gi-aim sa ilang Oplan Ligtas, ka, 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 Ligtas Pamayanan. They are training or they are conducting fire brigade training sa ato ang mga purok. Purok nga kanang Sa atong purok nga Kinsa tong mutabang ug badbad sa hose, kinsa tong mumando sa traffic nga inigsulod sa fire truck na to, dali ra kaayo. So dali ang pagresponde, kinsa man ang authorized or kinsa man ang tao nga mutawag ditso sa fire truck no, og naay sunog, ato gyud na siyang i-practice nga dili sa dud na to. Basig mauna pa ang ato ang my day kaysa ato ang pagtawag sa bombero na og daw nang iyang balay, taas na iyang my day wa gyud siya katawag og Bombero. So, ato na siyang likayan. Ha, di sa na to in my day, ang atong unang buhaton, let us um, get, let, let us get the numbers sa atong Bureau of Fire Protection para in case og naisunog, makatawag ta dayon. Dili na to yun na og video. Kaya ang taga Bureau of Fire Protection, dili na sila mo responde o wala gyoy, mo tawag nila. Bisa pag nasunog na, niya, why ni responde, why ni ingon niya, di gina siya mo dong. So again, dili na to iuna sa social media but to call first the Bureau of Fire Protection para masuppress dayon nato ang kanang kayo. So isa sad na siya. So again, the Bureau of Fire Protection is um, giving us or conducting consci consciousness seminar. Seminar like or seminar niya maghatag sila, maghatag sad sila og mga flyers, leaflets or they are also um kanang mounting um Tarpaulins bitaw nagkita na to every March, di ba na ibuta nga this is a fire prevention month. So isa na siya, what are the possible causes of fire, effects of fire? So na siya, isa na siya sa gihimo nga consciousness. O para ang tao makaibaw siya how to prevent the occurrence of fire. Next, letter C. Fire prevention and suppression require the adoption of uniform fire safety standards, the incorporation of fire safety construction, and provision of protective and safety devices in buildings and structures. So, fire and fire prevention and suppression require the adoption of uniform fire safety standards. So, uniform means the same standard. Say, for example, you are storing all flammable materials in one room. So, lahi po sa Picas Room, so, kanatanang mga um, buildings, establishment, the same, na, the same raang how they will store, where do, we, where do they store it, what is the room temperature again, because those flammable materials or those hazardous material, muriak yun na siya kung naay heat. Diba na may nga, store this in um, cool, place. Oh, cool place or dry place. May nga example. So, kailangan yun, hindi na siyang i-appeal na siya sa requirements sa ato ang um, Republic Act 9514 or before the PD-1185, the Uniform Fire Safety Standards. Next, there is an urgent need for an agency primarily responsible for the implementation and coordination of the activities of all sectors of society on fire safety prevention and suppression. The bodies... Diba ang at guys, example, sa drugs, dati pideya, sa PNP, lahi. So, ang agency po nga task to prevent, to prevent, um, the, the, to prevent the fire, oh no, to prevention, suppression, and fire safety, ang agency task 
Punana is ang Bureau of Fire Protection. Again, under the Department of Interior and Local Government. So, nabilong yapon siya, nabilong yun siya sa tribe bureaus. Next, in order to effectively implement all efforts to minimize the occurrence of fires and their destructive effects, full financial equipment and personal support for the government and the private sector is necessary. Again, dili mo function ng isa ka bureau, ang isa ka agency o wala gid na siya support. Pinakaimportante ang financial support, equipment and personnel support, de ba? Financial support magkuha na sila sa budget sa or they are allotted sa ato ang national budget under gyapo na siya sa DILG. Next, so tungod kay daghan man kaayo no ang ato ang provisions or sections sa ato ang RA9514. So ni jump lang ko dito sa section 7. Uh, ang section 3 nga uh, definition of terms sa na siya so makita ra gyapon ninyo mabasa so kaning the rest are dili pud kay sa ingon nga kailangan gyud sa itakol kay sabotable naman no let's go with section 7 so unsa man kuno nang section 7 asam to kong copy section 7 uh, entitled or the Inspection, safety measures, fire safety, construction, and protective or warning system. Wait, na wag ida ko ang copy. So first is the inspection requirement. Tara. A fire safety inspection shall be conducted by the chief BFP or his duly authorized representative as prerequisite to the grants of permits and or licenses by local governments and, and other government agencies concerned. So, inspection requirements. So, unsa man ang inspection? Before ang kanang, um, before na siya, Um, ang kanang building before na sa so kita you are kita nag nag nagpa-build kag hotel so di ba occupancy so mga occupants na before na sa nimo i-open sa public magkuha gid ka og fire safety o fire inspection certificate nagpamatuod nga kana na tan-aw na na siya sa Bureau of Fire Protection nakapasarmo sa ilang requirement na amoy fire exit na amoy fire alarm fire extinguisher Sprinkler system, kami nga na. So, that is one of the um, functions of the Bureau of Fire Protection. Ang mukandak o inspection annually. Annually means once a year. So, kung, ang, kung ato ang chief BFP, siya mong conducted, siya mong mukandak. But, if wala ang ato ang BFP, Si, pwede si FO2, si FO3, assign the inspection, pwede siya ang ato, siya ang mo-inspect. Allowed, ragya po na siya. Next is, um, safety measures for hazardous material. So, safety measures for hazardous materials. Ah, saan na kong copy? Nawala na. Dara. Fire safety measures shall be required for the manufacture, storage, handling, and use of hazardous materials. So, apil po na sa ilahang i-inspect ang kanang safety measures kung naakay hazardous materials. Kung nagnegosyo ka hazardous materials, apil po na sa ilahang inspection. Safety measures for hazardous operation and process. And lastly, provision on fire safety, construction, protective, and warning system. So, owners, occupants, or administrators of building structures and their premises or facilities except such other buildings or structures as may be exempted. So, dapat na ay fire protection features such as sprinkler system, hose boxes, hose wheels, or standpipe systems, and other firefighting equipment. So, dapat yun ang ato ang, say for example, na atay, 
Sa abot og fourth floor. So in every corner of your floor, dapat na agi na siya gitawag og naagitay for so na, for portable or the fire extinguisher. Na di ba naay mura gi mount dia nga square square na ay kanang fire hose, the fire axe, fire alarm system, kanang fire alarm og tuplo ko nimo or i-press nimo na siya, automatic ma-alarm ang tibok building nga naay sunog. So kanang atong um Diba sa atong fire hose, naka, dapat yung nakakonect na siya sa ato ang pipe. That pipe is connected gya po siya sa main pipe. Nga huwag masunog ang area, i-on lang itong main pipe, automatic mo gawas na dayon ang tubig. Muna siya eh, gamit sa ato ang, kanang gitawag na tuog, kanang fire um, hose reels or stand pipe systems, kanang hose boxes. Fire alarm systems, very common. Prevention, provisions for confining the fire at its source, such as fire-resistive floors. So, kung grabe, kung taas na siguro ka yung building, dapat yun mag-alat siguro ka o isa ka floor nga resistive sa fire. Kung muabot ang fire, murag, sabi, dugay mo abot, or bisan pa siguro mo abot, pero it takes time nga maapil o sunog ang sunod nga floor. And walls extending up to the next floor, slab or roof, curtain boards, and other fire-containing or stopping components. Next is the termination of all exit in an area affording safe passage to public way or dispersal area. So apil gya po dasa ni mo kanang imuhang passageway or kanang agianan. And term stairway, vertical shafts, horizontal exits, and other means of egress sealed from. Smoke and smoke and heat. So, de ba provisions of fire safety construction system. Dapat yun ang isa ka building na ginasa gitawag og fire exit. So na one example of that ng those kung naalang siguro katong during the October ng earthquake bitaw that is so college from ako ato amo ang dormitory is third floor on ya during the linog so grabe nang kusuga sa linog so muagi unta nya ang katong among main ang agianan is puno man og mga jealousies so ang fire exit unta mo ato tay pinaka safe ni agianan nya instead gi close man asya so again that is very prohibited or prohibited gid kaayo nga imo sirad an ang atoang fire exit that is mahigpit na ipinag babawal Next, a fire exit plan for each floor of the building showing the the routes or the routes from each room to appropriate exit displayed prominently on the door of such room. So required gihapon sa isa ka building or sa isa ka floor ang exit route. Ani siya mo agi kinta na asa sa room three hundred four. So linya na asa siya mo agi asa dapat ang exit aninga floor. Next. A fire exit plan for each building showing the routes. So, kina siya. Properly marked and lighted exits with provision of... Nawa na. Hala na the end. Provisions of... Kaning? Properly marked and lighted exits with provision for emergency lights to adequately eliminate exit ways in case of... Power failure. So dili lang day. So dili lang daw kuno kay sapat ang ato ang fire exit. But naagid na siya na kabutang ng emergency lights. Nasa may gamit sa emergency lights in case o kap power failure, makita gihapon ang exit asa dapita or di ba ang mostly ang exit are is mark green. Green ang color mostly sa exit para again madetermine kung asa ang exit. In case og na ay power failure, so wala siya common yah po ang kanang colors atong exit ng green. So section eight, so the following are declared as prohibited acts and omissions. So there are many um prohibited acts and omission pero gamay lang ako ang gi kuha. Again, this the most important. Na na da end na po siya. Section 8. First is 
Obstructing or blocking the exit ways or across the buildings clearly marked for fire safety purposes. Again, never ever block a fire exit. Diba mo na siya'y nahitabo atong, kinumdum mo atong sunog na katong sa Chanila, sa Manila. Diba? Diba? Imbis kay ang mga tao dito daghan kayong na-trap, kay sirado ang ilahang fire exit, na ang ilahas ang bintana is naka-grilled. Kay og, siguro og open pa to siya, dahil daghan yun kayong makaligtas. ba? So, never ever obstruct or block the exit way. Next, constructing gates, entrances, and walkways to buildings, components, and yards which obstruct the orderly and easy passage of firefighting vehicles and equipment. So, construct ko naka gate, tungod kayo mo. Ako, ah, maning? Agianan, madam. So, mingkag, ako, ah, agianan, madam. Di ka makabuot nga? Ano sa man? Makabuot nga? Ako ni siyang babagan. So, dili na siya pwede. Agianan na siya, gihimo na siya, gitawag na siya, og entrances and walkways to building, and yards which obstruct the orderly and passage, easy passage of firefighting vehicles. Next, prevention interference or prevention interference or obstruction of any operation of the fire service or of duly organized and authorized fire brigade. So, interfere ka without legal basis. Again, that is prohibited. Pwede ka kasuhan. Next, obstructing designated fire lanes or access to fire hydrants. Diba? Makakita man mo og mostly fire hydrants are mounted dapit sa karsada. Or anong mga gawas yun ba? Wala gid. Kanang makita gid siya. Clearly visible ang ato ang fire hydrant. And kanang fire hydrant na agid na siya ay tubig kanunay. So, locking of our exit, sumunod na siya during period when people are inside the building. So, bawal gyan po na siya. So, overcrowding or admission of persons beyond the authorized capacity in movie houses, theaters, or coliseum. So, di gyan po na siya po yung day. Prevention or obstruction of the automatic closure of fire doors or smoke partitions or dumpers. So, use of fire protective or firefighting equipment of the fire service other than for fire fighting except in other emergencies where their use are just justified. Again, pinakaportante, giving false or malicious fire alarms that is clearly prohibited. Nag-false alarm lang ka. Nawa di ay sunog. Diba? Si fire truck gani, o magwangwang na siya, that is very or that is, mag na, emergency gid ang tawag, ana. To prevent the kanang possible nga effects of fire. Kaya ba ang effects of fire, dubli man, property and the life. So, to prevent that, so di gid na pwede muhatag og false or malicious fire alarms. So, smoking in prohibited areas as may be determined by fire service. So, throwing of cigars. So, di gid pwede no nga gitawag na siya. Say, for example, prohibited areas determined by fire service. Kanang mga, example, nakastore, diha nga to ang mga um, flammable gases. So, ginadili yun ang pag sigarilyo, paglabay sa emong sigar, anang dapita. Kay once ka na siya, mo react na yun na siya, hit, makakos na siya, o fire. Oh, so, dagan pa mga kaayon, no? So, Let's proceed to section 11. So, mo ito ito mga prohibited acts nga mak... nga mostly ang mga tao na dilit na sila aware. So, di ba? Kung saan man na ito para ma-aware sila, ito siyang istoryaan. Tungod kayo, nakibawa naman ito nga that is considered prohibited or ginadili. Let's go with penalties. So, hapit na gita mahuman, no? So, penalties sa imuhang prohibited acts or sa imuhang gibuhat nga omission against the private individual kinsa man ang private individual kita kita ang gitawag nga private individual so pwede ta kasuhan og administrative fine penalized by an administrative fine of 
fine or not ex fine of not exceeding 50,000 pesos. So, kung saan? Against the private individual. Mohatag ka og false alarm. So, pwede ka ma-penalize not exceeding 50,000. Mohatag ka og fines. So, punitive nga, imo pwede nga penalty. Pe punitive means ka ng grabe. Pinakagrabe nga, penalty. Diba? Fine is the lower penalty. So, punitive ka ng, upon conviction, be punished by imprisonment of not less than 6 months nor more than 6 years. So, more again po na yung duration o example, makita nga na probable cause nga ikaw, gisradaan ni mo ang far exit nga samtang nasunog. So, if, conviction, if convicted, pwede ka mapriso not less than 6 months but not more than 6 years or a fine not more than 100,000 pesos. And you're also liable for imprisonment for 30 days or a fine not exceeding 100,000 to any person maliciously removes the sign of the building. So, na kita gibuta nga. Warning, flammable materials stored inside. So, imo na siyang hawaon maliciously with intent nga imong kuhaon, pwede ka ma priso for 30 days and mubayad pa gihapon mubayad pud ka og fine na tumata ginting na isang daang libong piso next penalized with imprisonment of 1 day to 30 days and a fine of 5000 pesos to any person who disobeys the lawful order of the fire ground commander during a firefighting operation so si fire ground Si fire ground commander siya ang nai authority nga mo disobey ka sa iyang lawful order pwede ka ma penalize ma priso and mo bayad pa ka og fine so isa na sa imong penalty private individual next against the public officer or employee so administrative kinsa man ang public officer say for example kanang mato mga um Taga Bureau of Fire, taga, taga Building Department sa inyong LGU, pwede na siya. Here are some of the offenses committed by public officer employee in charge of the enforcement of this code. Unjustified failure of the public officer or employee to conduct inspection of buildings or structures at least once a year. So, ma-fail na sila to conduct a inspection of buildings every year. So again, pwede ka kasuhan og administratibo. Muna gitawag nila administratibo. So daghan pa kayo ning mga administrative um, offenses committed by the public official. So kanilang gamay lang ako ang gikuha no pero mabasa ra gyapon na sa ninyo sa ato ang soft copy and sa ato ang ana sa inyong reference material gi appeal og bind. So next, issuance or renewal of occupancy or business permit without the fire safety inspection certificate issued by the chief BFP or his or her duly representative. So kung muhatag na dito so ang, ang ato ang issuance or renewal occupancy without the fire safety inspection certificate, muuna gyapon ka sa ato ang Bureau of Fire Protection. mo conduct pa na sila og fire safety inspection before ka mukuha sa imuhang renewal of occupancy and business permit. Okay? So, muna siya ang atong administrative. Next is punitive or kanang pinakagrabe na gyapon. In the case of willful violation involving the above mentioned acts or omissions enumerated under section 11 sub paragraph 2A So, muna to katong unom. Oh, no, this eight. Oh. So, kana na siya willful violation. Willful with intent, with malice, tinuyuan. Be punished by imprisonment of not less than six months nor more than six years and a fine of not less than six years or by a fine of not more than 100 so you will be imprisoned yang mubayad pod ka old fine next section 12 appropriation and 
sources of income. So, asa kuno sila nagkuha sa ilhang income and appropriate asa padulong. So, to support the manpower, infrastructure, and equipment needs of the fire service of the BFP, such amount as may be necessary to attain the objectives of the fire code shall be appropriated and included in the annual protection of the Bureau of Fire Protection. So, again, appeal na siya sa budget sa ato ang DILG together with the PNP and with the BGMP. So, appeal na siya sa ato ang annual budget. Or letter B, kaning to, um, to partially provide for the funding of the fire service, the following taxes and fees which shall... So, to partially provide for the funding of the fire service, the following taxes and fees which shall accrue to the general fund of the national government are hereby... Impose. So, kaning lima or unum din siya sa inyuhang, inyuhang soft copy. So, section 13, collection of taxes and fines. So, assessment of fire code taxes, fees and fines. So, the assessment of fire code taxes, fees and fines is vested upon the Bureau of Fire Protection. So, the BFP shall subject to the approval of the DLG, prescribe the procedural rules for such purpose. So, collection and assessment of local taxes, fees, and fine. So, the collection and assessment of taxes, fees, and fines as prescribed in the local government code, except those contained in this code, shall be the function of the concerned local government units. Again, fire, in, fire safety, um, I know. Those mention those nga mga um, fees nga wala na mention diri sa ato ang fire code of the Philippines kaning RA9514 the rest ana is kolektahon jud na siya sa LGU bali ang LGU na gigyapon siya counterpart so use of income generated from the enforcement of the fire code so the chief BFP is authorized, subject to the approval of the Secretary of Interior and Local Government, to use the income generated under the Fire Code for procurement of fire protection and firefighting investigation, rescue, paramedics, supply and materials, and related technical facilities of the BFP and the abatement of fire hazard. Again, kaning income nga makuha na to, makuha sa BFP, Ilalagya po na siyang i-upgrade sa ilang facilities, equipment, sa ilang PPE, kanang uban. And, kanang, ang saman? Diba, naaman tayo, diba, ang, ang project ng sa DLG is dapat na ay isa ka fire station every municipality. So, mo na siya ang gi, isa sa mga um, goals, di po goals, matawag na to nga, kuan sa, Bureau of Fire Protection. So that ends our lesson about RA 9514 and its implementing rules and regulation. So I hope na amoy nakuha sa ato ang discussion and please answer the questions heartily sa akong gihatag nga activity. So, bye! Thank you!